Hello, um, I am waiting in line to get lunch right now. I just finished working and I'm about to go and do a little charge on my vehicle and one of the spots that I can charge it is by Mill Mall and it's close to one to my house right now. There is one getting closer, yes. So excited, but it's not hooked up yet. So um, I'm just gonna go pretty much top off and while I'm doing that, I'm going to go inside and look at shoes because I need new flip flops. And I say flip flops, but I really mean like semi fancier sandals, but still flip flops. I don't know how else to describe it. Because I have these old ones that I got when I was 15 and in Mexico with my family. And I didn't wear them a lot other than on that trip for years and years. Um, but I've been wearing them almost nonstop for like six years now. And they look so bad. <laughs> so, so bad. And so I need a new pair of something that I can just slip on real quick that's easy. Um, so I'm going to go into Famous Footwear while I'm getting a little charge up and get those. But before I do that, I figured I'd make a little video and catch you up on all the things that um, I did from August 29th. I think it's like a stream whatever from you know not last week but the week before that the end of August in the first few days of um, September I was down in Sierra Vista where I did one of the other videos and I was working with a client and so she had a bunch of like little projects in the house and then bigger projects and projects that had moving parts so like we would start to do one thing and then we had to stop and go back and do something else and I did not take before pictures I keep forgetting to take pictures of things but um I did take after pictures so I will hold on driving so I will put those in this video I'll do a really um there's a lot of videos so <sighs> restart sort of so these first couple pictures are of a few things that we did inside the house this first one is a linen closet it was already mostly organized um, we just sort of um, redid a little bit of it for what she wanted new things that she'd added and things she's taken out that sort of thing and then this next picture is her husband's closet we went he just retired quit his job I don't know what you would say I feel like it's a retirement he's worked at this company for years and years and years and now he's not but then I'm gonna have to redo this video because I'm about to come up on the thing um or maybe you'll just hear what I'm ordering. Screw it. <laughs> You're just going to hear what my lunch order is. So, this is his closet. So, we got rid of a whole bunch of his work clothes and fancy stuff that he's not wearing anymore. And I actually gave it to my youngest brother because they're of a similar size pant-wise. And shirt-wise is a little bit off, but close enough and um he doesn't have really like any fancy clothes and so why not and then the well he went through the bag and then the rest will probably give to like goodwill or something and then what other pictures do I have? okay this next picture is right outside their front door basically they've got this little like area it's sort of like an offshoot like an outside storage area and they keep their garbage there and and do a lot of pause pause sorry I miss that letting go they're amazing if you haven't had them 
do this cucumber mint drink. It's awesome. And um, mint is really good if you have inflammation issues. Which, I'll open around for you. Hi, um, can I please get a jalapeno ranch with chicken salad okay. and then a cucumber mint drink okay. and two cups of just ice? Okay. And that's it. So, cucumber mint, lemonade, jalapeno ranch, chicken salad, and two cups of ice? Yes. Do you need utensils for today? Yes, please. Alright, that is going to be 8.09 after the closer. Okay, thank you. Lunch. Man, this line is moving quick. Hold on, I'm going to put you down. Uh, no, I'm all set. Thank you. Okay, you as well. Hi. Okay, so I'm just going to pull off and finish this video really quick, and then I will go do what I said I was going to do. So, anyway, that's his closet. And we went through and organized it and separated it from like normal t-shirts and um, like button button up t-shirts and then he kept a couple like nice things in case they go out or do anything special or whatever and then pants and shirts and stuff were all folded all nice and neat I know she won't keep it that way <laughs> I know he won't keep it that way I know it'll be a mess but um, at least for the sake of these pictures, it looked really nice. And for a while, it looked really nice. So, um, yeah, that was one of the projects. And so one of the big projects that we, so those were a few of the little projects. Um, one of the big projects that we did was they had a garage and they tore it down and built this whole new garage with a greenhouse attached and it looks the greenhouse is so hot it's like going into a sauna and um, it'll be perfect for what she needs it for she does her a lot of her own planting and food she has an orchard and then she has a herb garden and then she has two other gardens and um, it's just sh they've got this big sprawling property with tons of stuff and they're custom building what they need and what they want um, so they did this garage so when I helped them move down there they did live in the Phoenix area and then when they moved they got rid of tons of stuff and um, but now they've been there about a year and so they've accumulated just like everybody does because everybody accumulates new things and so they've accumulated things so we needed to basically go through Marie Kondo it gotta pull everything out gotta go through everything and um, she likes keeping things labeled and organized and she likes it to look pretty so that's why the pictures all look awesome and um, so we redid her whole garage and these are those pictures and there's like three different sections and then there's the big section so um, the first little section is her office stuff and that stuff will eventually be moved because her husband is building her an office 
um, but it's just got like the bare bones like the floor and the beam the support beams right now so that's at least a few months down the line and then the next one is um, gardening and can and empty jar canning supplies and then the top has um, other like outside the big trash bins extra things that she doesn't need to get into or that he doesn't need to get into very often and then the third one is just sort of normal storage stuff you know extras for stuff that goes in the house that just their inside storage can't fit and you know Christmas stuff and it's it looked really nice it's all sharp and labeled and you know the things that she can use most often are towards the bottom and the things not so much are up top um and then oh, oh the whole bottom line is like dog stuff so like she's got the two things of dog food and then like bagged dog treats and like clothes and beds and she has a lot of pets a lot of pets nine dogs and nine cats so all of the cats are outside I will say that and she did not have those cats when she moved out there they are all within the last year um, when she left the Phoenix area she had six and then no five crap now I can't remember I feel so bad um, she had five or six and then one of them passed away and um, then she got, I think she had, because the new ones that she got are the little one, that, uh, Sonny, who acts like he's a big dog, and then the three bigger dogs. So if she got four, <laughs> and one of them died, then she had six. Okay, she had six. And one of them is an outside dog, and very very new and then sh they're all mostly like little wiener dogs and they are all inside all the time so they have tons of little sweaters and little beds for when they mo move them around in the car and travel and stuff like that and um they're so cute i don't know if i would ever want that many pets but they're so cute and I love visiting, <laughs> visiting them all. And um, yeah, so she's got tons of dog stuff and supplies and food. And um, she orders the dogs like a, this Stella and Chew special food. So um, we order it in bulk from the place here and then I bring it down to her. And so that's what's in those bins is tons and tons of dogs tons and tons of dog food and um, none of the cat stuff is there because the cats actually in the back of the orchard it's so cute and I should have taken pictures but I only went out there once because I, like the dogs know me a lot of the dogs know me or I've I picked up the dogs from the airport and drove them down to her so they've met me and but the cats not so much and they're very skittish so they don't necessarily like me hanging around their little cat barn that's in the back of her orchard and that's where all their supplies are and they can go in there at night and they have like a safe space from the animals because there's animals and coyotes and all sorts of stuff out there um I'm trying to think what else what else what else what else That's the garage. I looked at the pictures before I started this video to like mentally remind myself of what I needed to talk about. But then I ordered food and totally forgot all of the things that I was going to say. The only other thing I can think of is the other big project. So this client is amazing and I adore her. She's 
a bit OCD so she likes things a certain way and she likes them really organized really pretty in the aesthetic and I think that's great it would never work for me but I love doing it for other people <laughs> and um, so when she moved out there she has multiple businesses when she moved out there she semi-retired like she checks in with them but she's not working nearly as much as she used to um, so she had to get hobbies and her biggest new hobby is um, food preservation and that's like headline banner and then there's like little different things inside of food preservation that she now does um, one of the big ones is canning and that's what all the jars in the garage are for but um I say garage but it's really a storage area and she's gonna put her gym stuff in there too so it's gonna be like a gym storage space um so she got this container and so it's like one of those big metal containers the I can't think of the word that, like you see on ships okay it's not quite that big but it's like one of those that has the doors that you gotta like latch and lock um so she got one of those and then inside it's like insulated and her, her husband I'm trying not to give names so they can't look these people up her husband built these um, custom shelves you know at certain heights because she sort of knew what she wanted to do and what she was gonna put in there and it looks so cool so cool so she's just started this canning for the last like she started in February but I don't really think she got going until like March, April from the dates that I saw on the cans. And um, so I say she has been doing this about six months. And so she needed a place to put all this stuff because this was all like in her house in like these little just posited spots of canning stuff that she's done or that she's in the middle of doing. And most of this food is from her garden and her orchard. and living out there you know you have to buy a lot of stuff in bulk and so she did and you know she's been loving it and so on one side she has all of like these store-bought like food things that come in jars and ketchup and mustard and salad dressings and sauces and all of that is in the back on the right and it's all sort of organized in its groups because there's some things that you just you have to store by and she likes specific things so you know she she's gonna keep getting those no matter how much food she's getting from her homegrown stuff and then the next section is all of her canning and all the things that she's done and I put it by what it was and then by date so the first row is like the oldest stuff and then the next row and the next row and the next row so on and so forth and it looks so cool so cool all along the bottom row we did these big bins we were going to do milk cartons but um the stuff that she put in there she did the mylar bags and it's like this food preservation thing you put this little oxygen packet that helps take all the oxygen out of the package and you can keep it for like 20 25 years or something like that it's like this long-term storage thing so we did tons of mylar bags um, full with like flour that she bought in like hundred pound bags and 50 pound bags and 25 pound bags and different things that she knows she's gonna use but She's not going to use them soon. <laughs> so half of them are Mylar bags and then the other half are just sealed bags, you know, where you suck all the air out of it. Um, the Mylar bags we sealed too. We put the little oxygen packet in there and we sealed it and just to give it that little extra oomph. And um, so all the bins on the bottom on both sides have that kind of food in it and then 
already told you what the next couple shelves are. And then the very top is just like these pastas and like popcorn and cereals and you know, still store-bought stuff, but like not stuff that you have to get very often. So she has like a box or two in the house and then she has like four more. <laughs> four more out there in this she calls it the cannery because it's gonna have 